And as you guys might know, CS2 just released today, so therefore I'm about to give you the best settings, additional optimization steps to get more FPS on your specific Windows PC, and also additional tips to reduce your input delay and even ping in CS2. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and if you have any more questions, always feel free to comment down below. I'm trying to answer to as many people as possible. So guys, and once we're in CS2 itself, we gotta go over here now to the settings menu and under video guys. And under the first category now, we have basically our video monitor settings, where we wanna make sure that we actually select guys for display mode full screen. This is super important. If you run this for whatever reason on full screen window, you're gonna get additional delay guys. Then on the refresh rate, please make sure that you select the highest refresh rate, which for you is available. For me right now here, it's 390 hertz. Just simply go all the way here down to the highest one, which is available for you. And then we're gonna go over to advanced video. Real quick guys, the first one under advanced video is boost player contrast. And this is one of the best features in all of CSGO already of the last few years, guys. Literally, this one is gonna make it so much easier for you to spot enemies since the player contrast is gonna get pushed up a little bit so you can actually see them better especially on maps like i don't know dust 2 where the team models kind of have a similar texture to actually like the map itself wait for vertical sync this one only makes sense if you're on 60 or 75 hertz because they're most like your pc is going to push a crazy amount of too many frames per pictures for your monitor so therefore you might have screen tearing but if you're on 144 240 360 make sure that it's fully disabled the next up under current video values preset we're going to make this one here to custom of course and now for multi-samping and tier guys this one personally for me i have a 2x msaa this one is the best one for me since it does still give me a little bit sharper edges you know especially when you take a look here now at this like ct model we can see there's a little bit of noising here around these corners but it's still sharp enough for me like i can perfectly find play with this and it's not super hard with the menu the next up global shadow quality this one right there guys is a tough one because cs2 actually has real-time shadows so if you put this one to completely low which is of course the best for your performance you have an actual competitive disadvantage so therefore, I would even highly recommend you to keep this on high if you can. If your PC can handle this, of course, if your FPS should for whatever reason go all the way down to even under 144, make sure that you put this one to medium and then try it low. The next up, models and textures. This one I have on low simply because I don't really care too much about how basically the game itself really looks like. The only thing I care about is that we have sharp edges so that I actually can nicely see, okay, here's my gun and it just has like a nice transition over to this wall. Next up, guys, we have shader details. This one is not really too important you can keep it on low. Particle quality, same way if a grenade explodes, a Molotov goes off or something like that. You actually only have advantages if you have this on low because it's not as detailed. Ambient occlusion, guys. This is basically lightning and how lightning is reflecting off the of surfaces and all that stuff. This one I keep on disabled. High dynamic range, I keep on performance now, guys. This is basically HDR, which is gonna make your game a lot more colorful, but I'm gonna show you a secret tip in your NVIDIA control panel or even AMD Catalyst, how you can get this effect without using HDR. Now, guys, next up here, Fidelity FX Super resolution this one is kind of tricky okay if you keep it on quality or ultra quality you will realize the game is gonna look a lot more hd here yeah we're gonna take a look at this ct model and once we put it all the way to performance you're gonna notice that we have some noising there and some statics you know like the shaders are flicking all that stuff if you don't care about that put it on performance that's the best of course you can do for fps but for the best competitive settings i would just simply recommend you to leave it on quality guys because this one is actually still looking decently nice and yeah you can see the noise is really minimal there and of course the nvidia reflex low latency mode this one keep on enabled a hundred percent and then we're already done here with the best csd settings next up now guys i'm going to give you the best nvidia control panel settings where i'm also going to explain you how to make your csd super colorful in the first place go and adjust video image settings with preview and make sure that you select use the advanced 3d image settings and click under tag me there now once we're in here guys you're gonna make sure that you copy all of my settings which i have right now you applied since they are the best ones for performance in basically all of your game image scaling you're gonna keep on off ambient occlusion you're gonna keep on off antistrophic filtering or any sort of anti you're gonna keep on off except of gamma correction which is basically lightning then background application maximum frame rate is kind of interesting one but i don't really think it matters too much for cs it's something like maybe when you have google chrome open up that it actually gets limited to 20 fps or whenever you tap out out of the game cuda gpus you're gonna leave simply on all this only makes a difference if you have multiple gpus with like integrated graphics dsr factors on off low latency mode guys this one you're gonna keep on either on or ultra a ton of pros are still talking about which one is better for me personally i gotta say ultra is the best I've been trying it on the Zoe XL 2566K and the Acer Nitro 390Hz and I really gotta say Ultra works the best for me. Maximum frame rate you can kind of limit if you want to to maybe prevent overheating on your PC. Let's just say you play on 240Hz limited maybe to 300 and you're good to go. Multi-frame sampled AA you're gonna keep on off. Open GL you're gonna leave on automatic. Power management mode of course on preferred maximum performance. Then refresh rate highest available of course we want the highest hertz on our monitor. Shader cache files you're gonna leave on 10 gigs guys because these files can sometimes be corrupted so therefore
for your PC does refresh them after every 10 gigs. Texture filtering and destroffing sampling optimization. This is kind of to do with preloading of textures before you actually hop into the game. You're going to keep on on. Then texture filtering, LOD bias, you're going to leave on allow. Next up, texture filtering quality, you're going to leave on highest performance. And texture filtering trillion optimization on on. Threaded optimization, you're going to leave on auto. Triple buffering on off. Vertical sync as well on off. As I explained, only makes sense on 60 to 75 hertz monitors. And virtual reality, we don't really care about it. And now simply hit apply. Then we're going to go over here, first of all, guys, to change resolution. And you're going to make sure that you don't select one from Ultra HD and go all the way down to PC and select your maximum refresh rate of your monitor. And now go under adjust desktop color settings. They're going to select your monitor and make sure that you put your digital vibrance guys all the way up to 75%. This is going to make your game look amazing. Then we're also going to go over to adjust video color settings and make sure that saturation is on plus 75% as well. This is going to make your CS super vibrant and colorful and kind of give you the vibe of HDR even though we don't have it enabled on our PC and you can actually apply this here on any monitor. Now next up guys, we're going to be utilizing a deep loader in order to speed up actually our window speed and get higher FPS in CS2. What you want to do is click on the link in the description where you can find this website and there you have the following comment which is simply going to copy. Then we're gonna go into our window search bar, type in there actually PowerShell and then we can see the Windows PowerShell, right click and run it as an administrator. So and once it's opened up, we're going to paste the following comment in there and press enter and it's gonna open up the Chris Titus Windows Tech Utility. And once we're in this tool guys, in the first place you can actually get a bunch of useful tools on your PC if you want to but we want to go over to tweaks. Once we're in here now guys, we have a recommended selection of tweaks. Desktop, laptop, minimal, clear and get installed. Desktop tweaks is basically going to give you all of the best and safe tweaks of processes which you can disable on your PC. Windows has a ton of pre-installed software on it which is called bloatware stuff which no one really uses but it's still there. It's running in the background, decreasing your FPS and basically all of the games. Then we also have your laptop tweaks which is basically going to disable power throttling which is only important to laptops. Then we also have minimal tweaks. If you're maybe a little bit scared of tweaking in general or you don't really know what all of this stuff here does then you can do it as well and those are super minimal. Or you can also select desktop and click under under do selected tweaks and it's going to return them back to normal. But what I would recommend you guys is select desktop and click under run tweaks and just simply let it actually run here now in the background. And then you can see in the Windows PowerShell itself that it's now going to apply all of these tweaks. It's also creating for you automatically a restore point which is also really nice. And now you can see guys tweaks are finished, it's done so therefore we can close this and we're already good to go. Just simply restart your PC and trust me your performance is going to be so much better. The next up guys we also have the MSI utility tool version 3 which is going to help our GPU out to actually perform better in games and this one you can also get with a link in the description guys what you got to do is run it as an administrator this has by the way nothing to do with msi the brand itself msi is a communication mode between your gpu and your cpu giving you more stable and consistent frames so what you want to do is select your main gpu which for me right now is the nvidia geforce rtx 3070 ti and make sure that under supported modes it actually says msi if it says so we're gonna actually go under it and make sure to put the check here under msi then we're gonna go here under priority and make sure that we put it to high as well guys then we're going to click under apply and now already MSI mode is applied for our GPU which is going to make it a lot easier for it to communicate with our CPU and therefore result in more stable FPS in games. By the way a ton of GPUs support this so therefore give it a try. And finally guys I want to show you the GF Booster which you can by the way try it for absolutely free for 4 days with the link in description. It's basically a gaming VPN which is going to search for the best DNS servers in your near. All you guys got to do is select CS. This by the way also works for face it. You're going to put in your current region which for me of course is Europe here and then you just simply going to let the tool actually connect you with the server and now you can see my ping went all the way down to 11 now even which is already a 104% improvement and it works as well for face it so therefore if you're grinding face it right now still on CSGO you can actually try this out for yourself guys as mentioned with the link in the description if you don't like it you can uninstall the tool but for me personally I use this for all of my favorite games it's gonna show you as well here the connection to your router and then from the router to your game server and it's just simply a nice little handy tool which is gonna automatically always look in the background for the best DNS server even while playing and this is it guys don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and check out these two videos right now on screen where i'm going to show you how to get even more fps on your pc